And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Well, let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Corey Sandin this morning in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. We have the man, Ron Lane, the man that sells fun from Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay. It's Labor Day weekend, and how appropriate to have the summer fun guy on the unofficial end of summer here on Let's Talk Hookup. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice on the Let's Talk Hookup app and Sports Grid Radio Network. Hey, San Diego, the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealers now and make it your best summer yet. Amazing offers and great selection of Ford vehicles, like the Built Wild Bronco family, with a deal you just can't miss. Your biggest adventures are awaiting. Make it Ford, make it yours, make it now. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers, they'll be glad to hook you up. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Famas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. Travelers worldwide, but for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. The lighter the bite and the cleaner the water means one thing. We need a thinner leader, more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader-shy fish. With exceptional knot and tinsel strength, this advanced leader material is now available from 2-pound test for fishing trout in the Sierra to 80-pound test for big yellowfin in Guadalupe. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. All right. Good morning. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Okay. And, uh, those of you watching the yeah. stream, watch this. I'm going to put us back in the studio here, and we have an outdoor stream today during the breaks. How about that? So we're looking at the Royal Star on the stream. I think they're cleaning it up by this yeah. point. I saw yeah. the, the finality of unloading. Yeah. yeah. So if you're on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, you got to see the scene at Fisherman's Landing this morning. It's pretty quiet. Yesterday, almost all the boats left. Uh, so it was crazy yesterday because it's Labor Day weekend and everybody was in and out on before Labor Day. But uh, today, Royal Star and who knows who else, but a lot of good fishing out there. But welcome, Corey. Great to have you. Awesome to be in here. Yeah, it's been a while since since you were at uh, Queen Charlotte Safaris. Man, what a what a good trip, huh? Magical, man. That that yeah. that place and and what Valerie does is just magical. I mean, you heard me talking about it. Yeah, it's, yeah, beautiful. Uh. So cool. That's beautiful. The, yeah. the fishing's insane. Just yeah. It's every can't wait it, to go back, huh? It checks. And your trip's almost full already for next I, year. I, that's what Valerie was saying. Wow, yeah, amazing. Like it. It. Well, it who sh- doesn't want to fish with Corey? Well, well absolutely. That, that's yeah. not the case. It no, just, it is. Oh, it's it's the true. adventure. The, 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 the it checks every box. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. It's it's everything. You know, it's good times. It's good people. It's a beautiful place, and the harvest is. 
Hands down, amazing. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. What'd you bring home? Ling cod, a little bit of halibut, and a lot of king salmon. A lot of king salmon. The king yeah. salmon was fishing was off the charts. They're so it? fatty and delicious. Yeah. There's so much herring up there. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was abundant, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I, I look forward, I, honest to God, I look forward to next year already. Yeah. Like, I'm... That's so cool. And I told you I've got something in the works in my in my head. I just need to put it in the play with making something cool for a play. Oh, okay. Oh, watch out. oh for watch the Lincoln. Oh, I, or for well, Carol was catching king salmon on on your bait. Let me tell you, we had twenty five pound king salmon on. The 8-inch slug on a 12-ounce lead head. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped her mind around this. Yeah. Don't be for <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, we had so much fun. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. cool. Well, welcome, Ron Lane. Good morning, hey. Ron. Good yeah. Morning, Mr. Fun. Yo, uh, been having fun. Yeah. The whole family's leader so, of fun. So how can they say this is the unofficial end of summer? When, that, when that's Labor Day something weekend? we need to talk about. Well, in other parts of the country, it kind of is because it don't gets count. cold and stuff. But here in Southern California, We're it's so the beginning fortunate. of our southern our, our summer, right? And, you know, and so I, I, I talk to Ava and I go, Ava, what do our numbers look like? And she goes, well, we were down a little bit in June, down a little bit in July, and then the sun came out. <laughs> right? So it's really the beginning then, of our summer. So yeah. this is, and it's so ironic, too, because Hobie uh, did a, uh, announced a sale. End of summer sale. And I'm yeah. going, well, How's that it, going? I mean, it, 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 that it, is today. Swamped. Today's the last day. Well, no, it's Tuesday's the last oh, day. Oh, Tuesday. Okay. okay. Yeah, so Tuesday's it's, the last day, and it's but, the biggest sale that But wait a minute, wait a minute. You're closed tomorrow and Monday. That's right. So, so today and Tuesday... Is the sale? That's, That's right, and yeah. we we thought about that. And if you just if you say, hey, I want an outback at that, you know, at the sale price, and you call the store, we'll call you on Tuesday or, you know, right after, and we'll hold the price. But go down to the store if you're even thinking of getting an inflatable, uh, you know, an outback, any of those. That this is the biggest sale we've done on them, particularly inflatables. I mean, we couldn't even get them two years ago. And so we've been selling a lot of them. And, yeah. and and Ava goes, well, our numbers are way up in August. And I'm going, well, look at It's the weather. Yeah. Well, people get, are getting the hang of it. This is just a great device to go fishing, right, Corey? Oh, I love kayak fishing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's one one of my nothing favorites. like it. You know, and and so here we got the endless summer sale going on at the, the beginning of our summer I mean, more people coming in the store. It's been busier. Fishing's good. I mean, come on. Yeah. This is where it gets good. You know, what, what's better than September? Yeah. I, I think we're going to have beautiful September, October weather. It's crazy. We still have we'll marine see. layer. We yeah. still have marine layer. It's weird. Coming in the September. And it's supposed to get warm and humid, which is typical for, you know, we get humid in September I here. I smell the yellowfin already. Uh, yeah. It could, ha- it could <laughs> happen. It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. So tell us what the hot items have been this week during the big Hobie sale. And first of all, Hobie never goes on sale. So this is a very rare opportunity. Really rare. To, and and the, the discounts are pretty substantial. You could save over eight hundred dollars on a three sixty pro angler. Wow. The new XR. Yeah, that's I mean huge. that's huge. Yeah. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Well, whatever. You know, so yeah. so you brought props because we're on, on YouTube Live and Facebook well, Live at Let's Talk Hook Up Radio Show and like by the way, we added the outdoor camera today. Still having some we're working on some technical issues, but we've we've progressed here. So during the breaks, you'll see the outdoor camera. Or if something's moving behind us and we see the Royal Star pulling out or something, we'll pop to the, the outdoor camera. But with, being that we're on video, and now we're also, I'm proud to announce, on the Sports Grid Radio Network. A big uh, deal. Yes, it's a big deal. You've been so, working, haven't so you? When you? Yeah, <laughs> so when you stream, as well as 1090 AM. So when you're streaming the Let's Talk Hookup app, from seven to nine a.m. Of course, you're going to hear "Let's Talk Hookup." But when you're when it's not seven to nine a.m., you're going to hear the Sports Kid Radio Network on our app. So wow. seven twenty four. So that that will be streaming on our app, and the, they're just great people there at Sports Grid. Uh, they uh, are nationwide, worldwide, super popular sports network. Of course, it's all about football right now, and uh, yeah. guys getting their wagering together for football and stuff like that. But but uh, of course, they're 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 embracing fishing here on the west coast and i like so it so we're super stoked to be a part of it and thanks to mike 
Cardano and, and, and his crew over there, Carl, the engineer and everything for making it happen. So, uh, that's what you'll hear different on the West, Let's Talk Hook About. But on the video portion, Let's Talk Hook Up radio show, uh, on YouTube and Facebook, show us the prop that you brought, Ron. Okay. This is the advantage of the video here. Well, you know, for years I've come on the show and we've been talking about Mirage Drives. Yeah. Oh, what the heck is a Mirage Drive? And how many have they been? How long have they been building them? Yeah. It really surprised me when I did a little homework. I, it turns out we've sold thousands. Here, thousands. Here's the thing, though, Ron. If you've used a Mirage Drive, you know. I mean, it's ingrained right. in your fishing brain, right? And, and, and if you don't know... You don't you know. You go, what you is that little yet. thingamajig? Yeah, what is a Mirage Drive? So this is a Mirage Drive. I don't know. Is that there the it is. There? Yeah, that's the camera right there. So, so this is the latest, greatest Mirage Drive. That's the hot one. Well, yeah, it's got reverse. It's got kick-up fins. Watch this. When you want to go in reverse, whoop, now you're in reverse. And it's like right now you're in reverse. But here's the incredible thing. The engineer... How does that work? <laughs> Oh, look at that. It just switches right around. So, yeah. so, you know, there's been several stories I've told where I put these things, like when we were out fishing in uh, Cedros Island around Boiler Rocks, I'd zoom in, make a cast where I couldn't normally get to, and then start backing out before the next wave broke on the, on the, you know, on the rock. And and well, you, sh- you get right where you, you know you can get right in and get right out. With quick. with stealth, I mean, with stealth, you're able to get in and yeah. pop it in reverse, make your cast, and get it all done. Here's the amazing thing is, and I've heard this from you, is they engineered these from the fins of a penguin That's for their right. efficiency. That's right. And and the way they work. I mean, and they we used look, to always talk about it like yeah, that too. Yeah, you know, I remember the little penguin fins. You know, yeah. And go, what is that? <laughs> and I go, and it looks so. It looks not intuitive. It just yeah. looks like, why does How that How does work? that go forward? Yeah. yeah that's exactly right. Well, uh, if you look at this, this is a big old propeller. Yeah. But it only goes halfway. Amazing, Ron. So the, the twist in that makes it propulsion. I see. Uh-huh. Now, and, if and, you're going along a few years back, you know, uh, when, they, when, they, when the Phil... The guy who designed the 360, the one that moves in any direction, uh-huh. when, when he designed it, I looked on him and there was kick-up fins. I'm going, what? What? Do you, kick up? What? So if you hit something, these will kick up. Yeah, rather than so break, you, rather than bend or break or you know, so you're not in trouble. And as you pedal, they, they go right, back into place. They go right back into I place. I didn't even know that. <laughs> and they come right out. Pedal way, and if you go on, you know any of the like the Hobie kayak um, website, you'll see all kinds of videos of them hitting rocks and logs. Yeah. And oh, I've pedal, done it. They've pedaled by. Yeah. You hit <laughs> launch ramps when you're coming in. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. All that stuff that used to cost you money doesn't yeah. cost you any money yeah. anymore. So it's the other brilliant. cool and intuitive thing about the Mirage Drive is the adjustment of the uh, of of the foot pedals. Yeah, so, so you can adjust them here. to, you know, not every, yeah, Corey's way up there. Ron and Peter. Yeah, back they're way here. back here, exactly. <laughs> so you can adjust for your size and your comfort. Well, it's a piece of cake. Just yeah. push the button. Push the button and go. That is so cool. Hobie is just like yeah. the, the leader of innovation. I mean, they are. They changed the entire kayak world. And, and I still, I mean, I, I have to admit, I still have a paddle kayak. Here's the thing, though. No, I know, I know. It's yeah. almost like like I'm I'm have a tear coming down my eye, right? But you're in the, you're in like like uh, like BC. I mean, it kind of gets <laughs> it done. But here's the thing, they these things are so damn fast that I'll be. I'll be paddling and trying to, you know, trying to look and all cool. while you're paddling, you don't have your rod in your hand. I know it. I, it sucks. Trust That's me. the other big but, thing. But I'm trying to look all cool, and this guy's just effortlessly just passing me up. <laughs> yeah, while he's sipping or Seriously. casting. Or, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a big deal. I yeah. Know. It is a big deal. And I started thinking about it, the thousands of boats we've sold. Yeah, how little, how few things go wrong. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's amazing me. the durability. I mean, you look at all the moving parts in that. It's like, oh, that's a that's a. People thing. always start out. What's the maintenance? Wrong? Yeah, I go. Well, you go like this with your hose. Yeah, wash it off. it off. So crazy. I mean, th- once in a while, things happen on the Mirage Drive, but not very often. 
Oh, I've got clients that fish these four times a week. You know, they're retired guys that are just constantly, and they'll come in every once in a while, and they'll get a new chain or something, but that's peanuts. Yeah. This is an expensive unit. It's eight pounds, but it's a little over a hundred dollars a pound <laughs> yeah you they're know, not so cheap these are expensive well it's a, it's a, it's a it's a precision instrument is what I'll it is say. the kick ups with the yeah. bearings in with it with all the things in it yeah, yeah they've made so many changes and yeah. and i i when i thought about it i'm going well gosh Ron, how long have you been selling these things we've been selling these things they came out in 97 <laughs> we've been selling them since 98 wow and the first time i saw them i looked at Ketterman, the designer, said, what do we need that for? Duh. Duh. Right? Well, so that brings up a couple questions here. One, what if you have the old paddle kayak and it's like, man, that looks cool. I want one of those. Can you trade in your paddle kayak? Oh, sure. Yeah? We do. You do that? Yeah. But I got to tell you, in all honesty, Craigslist sells kayaks. They sell more kayaks than I do. Yeah. (laughs) Because... Everybody wants a, you know, an upgrade. Yeah. It's like fishing. You know, if you're in a skiff, you want the two, one two foot bigger. We call it two foot itis. But it, if you want to sell your boat, really good pictures on Craigslist, and they'll sell. They'll sell. Yeah. Now, and we also trade them in. And what do we do with them? We just buff them out a little bit, make sure that the bungee cords, all the little things on them work, the handles are all good. Then we put them on Craigslist. <laughs> Yeah. But and what, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, and we sell them, and you know, we it keeps the guys busy in the back. But it's a, I mean, if you don't want to sit and do something on Craigslist, wait around at your garage waiting on somebody, just come right. trade them in. So, yeah, trade it in. And, well, and, and the main thing is, is come down to the store and do a demo. Call the yeah. store, and so many people, they 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 like the idea of being able to blow up a boat, just inflate it yeah. in minutes. I mean, and have I, it in the trunk of their car. Right. Right. And show so up you, and blow up, if, as you say. Or, or, or what Pete does, travel with it. Yeah. Yeah. I took it on a plane. Yeah. Oh, you took done, it on. Yeah. Yeah. Been sort I, of I took it to Montana in the that. car. I took two in the car. I took one on the plane up to go pier, to Pyramid Lake. Um, yeah. And it's, I mean, depending on the agent you get, if you take the I 9, they didn't charge me either way. Sometimes it's 50. You know, the, you got to watch the weight, though. Ava learned the trick pounds. on that. What, Ava what, learned what? the trick on that. Is read whatever airline it is. Read yeah. the fine print. Yeah. And and arm yourself because sometimes you'll know more than the person checking you. Right. In. And so we walked up with two I-11s. Ava was going to visit some relatives in the Midwest, and the lady goes, "Oh, that'll be you know 150 dollars a piece." And Ava goes, mm, "No." It's it's oversized or overweight. It's one or the other. Not both. But never both. Never both. Oh, and I'm like going, okay. I'm sitting there going, God, they're going to take them, Ava. Just zip it. You know, yeah. I'm it <laughs> but she just battled out and yeah, yeah. 75 bucks. 75 and seven. But that's the I-11. The I-9, yeah. usually you don't get charged. Yeah. So, but So what's amazing to me is here is this incredible device, this Mirage Drive. And you can put it in an inflatable kayak. How did they do that? Oof. That's what's amazing to me. I mean, that it's rigid. They make it rigid enough to place this amazing device into well, it with something inflatable. And, and it turned it into one of our fastest kayaks. Yeah. I mean, they're... No, they're super nimble, super stable. Really yeah. stable. And yeah. that's the thing is people are sitting out there going, well, I'd like to get one and put it on my boat and go to Catalina what are you waiting on? Yeah, they're on sale right now. Right now, your next. How trip, much off? Oh, those are those are like three hundred dollars off each. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. amazing. So the other the other kayak that blows my mind, and I know you've seen them, Corey, is the Lynx. Yes. It's like the missing Lynx, right? It is well, it super is. lightweight. It is. I fished amazing. on it this week with Debbie. Debbie and I went out in the bay and we were catching spotties. That was so fun. And 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 listen to it's this. It's so light. She caught the first one. And she caught the biggest one. Of course she did. So the next eight I caught didn't count. Didn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got the first one and the biggest one. Yeah. So um, the Lynx, describe the Lynx for those that aren't familiar with the, with the Hobie product line there. Well, th- this is an interesting one because um, 
a lot of the guy. I mean, I was one of the guys. I'm going. We're hearing this all the time, Hobie. We want a hard boat, a, a, a hard boat that's not an inflatable that weighs under 40 pounds, and that's just impossible. Yeah. So it weighs 45, and 45 pounds for an 11 foot kayak that's that wide and that stable, and you can stand on it easily. That's pretty good. And th- what they did was it's a thermal form boat that encases what's like a, a stand-up paddleboard. It's foam with a gla- with glass layer over it and then thermal form. So it's real durable, but they could get it under that 50 pound. It's 45 Crazy. pounds. Yeah, very durable, and it's probably our fastest of, of any of the kind. You know the one thing we haven't mentioned? It's faster. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah. The, the one thing we haven't mentioned are are are, are the seats. And when we oh, were on yeah. the Islander trip, twelve hours in the kayak. Right. I, in my mind, number one was having the pe- the 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 Mirage Drive. The, the, yeah, the Mirage Drive, but having the seat. The the well, engineers. It sounds so simple, it's but not. it makes a difference in having a day of fun. Well, in a in a regular kayak seat. The cloth ones that clip in and you sit down in the boat. Typical comfort zone would be three to four hours. And a lot of the guys would fish for Ron, six, eight hours. I can confirm that. Yeah, yeah I know. Maybe, maybe four. We can fix that, hey, Corey. Hey, yeah. may, maybe four hours with uh, my legs falling asleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, and when, 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 you when your taller, legs fall asleep, just pedal more. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. When you put a seat that's like a, a lawn chair in it and make it, th- you know, where you're at a different angle and it can just back and forward. That keeps you really fresh, but yeah. that movement of pedaling keeps those legs, and and it, but it also elevates you just a little bit more off the water, and in the pro angler a lot more. Yes. Yeah. So I want to go back to the links because I think that's one of the best kept secrets at. Well, I know you sell a ton of them, but a lot of people think, oh, the the, the inflatable, the inflatable. But uh, the Lynx weighs 45 pounds, right? And it's like a, it's like a stand-up paddleboard. It, it, it well, kind of it'll hold that thought. Yeah. Now, when we put them on cars, people right. will go, "I want to get two boats." Do you think three will fit? Well, yeah, yeah, because they stack like us like a stand-up paddleboard. But yet, it's a super stable, mirage-driven. Fishing kayak. Well, how many cars have you seen that have three stand-up paddleboards? Yeah. In it? Well, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's like a. Can you use paddle. it as a stand-up paddleboard if you no, really sure want you to? Could, yeah. yeah. Take the Mirage Drive out, just grab a paddle and paddle around. You got that. Yeah. That, and, and yesterday I, I I put the new Bixby tiller drive motor on one, so I'll be playing with that today. As you at the ooh the motor on the on the links yeah a little Bixby motor wow yeah it's supposed to be really fast that thing would probably create a wake man I mean that <laughs> yeah. actually uh, probably not it probably well, get on top of the water and what I'm concerned about is when you're going fast yeah. and all of a sudden you turn real sharp that momentum that'll yeah. be interesting yeah well. As you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. We're so happy to be a part of Sports Grid and those of uh, of you that listen to Sports Grid and go, "Hey, I didn't know fishing was a sport. It is a sport, right? Yeah, and it's a big sport too, and uh, across the nation. Oh, and, don't wreck it, for yeah, everybody. <laughs> and uh, but Sports Grid is uh, such a great network, and we got a, a, a whole new audience across the country listening to us on the Sports Grid network. So welcome. They're going to have to come out to San Diego and enjoy what uh, yeah. real fishing is all about. All there right, you man. go. That yeah, was a the blast epicenter of fun. Week. Yeah, and we're going to have a really fun day today having Ron Lane in here with. With uh, Ron Lane and his kayaks and just having a great time. I, dude, your family is just the leaders of fun, man. <laughs> Jared and Salty Crew and just the whole thing. We're actually going to give away $100 worth of uh, Salty Crew gear. They can come into the shop there. Right, right. Shopping spree. But we're doing two. One for the caller okay. and one for the texter. There yeah. it is. Yeah. So yeah. there is. There Both is no the caller flipping. and the tech. No flip of the coin today. A texter and a caller win hundred dollar shopping spree at Fastlane Kayaks for Salty Crew gear. That's well, a- we we can flip the coin. Okay. Because the coin flip winner will also get a surprise Salty Crew package. Oh, really? So one will be beefed up. I have to tell you the side note here for. 20, right. 20 seconds. The Salty Crew bags. Oh, yeah. I love those things. The backpack yeah. and the duffel bag yeah. is now my new travel gear. They're For nice. the last year, that's all I travel with. Yeah. 
I got to say, nice. we sell a lot of those, and, 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 and I and use them a the lot. The duffel bag works great as a check-in bag. Done yeah. deal. Well, and you can make it little, or it can fill up. That's what's so cool about that bag. Yes. It yeah. can really expand. For sure. All right. Hey, you can step right in, and maybe with $100, put it toward one of those bags, there or whatever you, you want to do. We've got Ron Lane in here for the next couple hours. Give us a call. The number is 213-432-1090. Or you can text us only through the app. Done uh, super simple. You go on the app there. It's a super free, easy download. And it says text to show right there. That's right. Send us a text. We're going to be looking at them. You're going to be watching. uh, Right. Pete and myself looking at looking the at our we're not, we're not making texts we're we're checking your texts on, yeah, there on it our is. phones exactly. you're not distracted yeah no not at all so you join us for the next two hours and we're going to be right back with Ron Lane and Fast Lane Kayaks when we return on the Let's Talk a Kapap and the Sports Grid Radio Network. It's the perfect time to cruise on in and purchase a brand new Yamaha outboard and a great deal during Yamaha's Cruise Through Summer Sales event. From now until August 30th, 2024, eligible new Yamaha 450 to 425 horsepower outboards include up to seven years of coverage protection and 350 to 30 horsepower outboards come with up to five years. Need portable power? Then this will be a hit too. New 25 to 2.5 horsepower outboards come with up to $250 in dealer credit. Cruise your way through saving during Yamaha's Cruise Through Summer Sales sales event. Visit your local Yamaha dealer. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Offer ends August 30th, 2024. Subject to change. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. 24-month Yamaha extended service added to 36 or 60-month factory limited warranty. Choice offered by Florida dealers is a 24-month Yamaha extended limited warranty. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. In Florida, Yamaha extended service is administered by Automotive Warranty Services of Florida Incorporated. 175 West Jackson Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois. 6064-866-936-3983. License number 6002. Offshore fishing is on. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. The saltwater tackle professionals. For bluefin, tuna, and yellowtail, nothing beats the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. Shimano Speedmaster 2 is also an extremely durable, high-performance lever drag reel for the more budget-minded angler. Both the Talica and Speedmaster 2 feature Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest of loads. For all your Shimano, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Whether you're boating, floating, paddling, fishing, or just chilling, remember a good day on the water always starts with everyone wearing life jackets. Save the ones you love. Life jackets save lives. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Give your boat the love it deserves and install a custom Sea Deck kit from Blue Seas Fabrication. Blue Seas is the West Coast only certified Sea Deck fabricator and installer. Sea Deck upgrades the look and feel of any boat, old or new. Sea Deck non skid decking adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. Let the experts from Blue Seas Fabrication custom fit your deck, bridge, and interiors with stylish, durable, stain resistant, and easy to clean Sea Deck. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience. Experience. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day and full-day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up, and hope you're uh, having fun watching us on, uh, what is it, Facebook Live? Facebook Live and YouTube Live, and yeah. YouTube Live. For, if you were watching the outdoor camera, for we're still having technical difficulty. Yeah. For some reason, it went out just now. So it did. We have okay. the indoor camera, which we're good. That's all fun. But That's I, fun I don't know it. what happened to the outdoor <laughs> camera. We'll see if we can get it figured out. But uh, This is all such new technical. It's this so foreign. new technical. It's probably a seagull so foreign from, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So it's foreign to me. Yeah. But having Ron in here speaking my language, yeah. having fish in and for kayaking sure. and having a good time with yeah, that. Yeah, we have some great phone calls coming if in. If you want to join us, oh, look at that. We've already got a handful of calls. But if you want to join us, 213-432-1090, or you can text us via the app. I know there's already uh, more than a handful of texts that have come through. Yeah, and, and, uh, lots more to come. We're giving away a $100 shopping spree for Salty Crew Gear to both a texter and a caller. Yep. And a flip of the coin would be for something special. 
Oh yeah, from salty. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just waiting on um, a call to see if I can talk about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> top secret. Yeah. Top yeah, secret. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. something on the table here that's kind of a hint, but I can't really talk about it, that. So. It is kind yeah. of a hint. But, yeah. So if you're watching, if you're not, yeah. you're gonna want to go look. And yeah. Maybe, maybe you can figure it out. Maybe you can't. But is the complete unveiling next week? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, there's gonna be. Uh, a collab. So if you that don't, Salty Crew does and and check their website. I better next stop week. you. Jared's gonna be very happy. I just stopped you right that, now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go too far. But so, if you don't hear about it today, stay tuned for the next week. That's right. There That's it right. is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And All Jared, right. if you hear this, text me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, hey, you have a great text there, Corey. I do. I do. Let's see here. Uh, it didn't come with a name, but I've. It, might speak to something here. Good morning, Jance. I finally had the opportunity to use a gift certificate for, uh, that I received from here uh, for the San Diego on Thursday, and I thought I might have saw you, Pete. Yeah, you? I was there. Oh, okay, and he says, uh, at the rock pile, I was super stoked to fish with Captain Ryan again. Uh, fishing was tough. Uh, due to the conditions, and he wants to know how you did, Peter. Yeah, it was it was a tough day, and, and uh, uh, I was on the on the new Steiger craft down there, and uh, talking to, to Captain Ryan Boston was running the boat, which was cool. Yeah, and Ron was, was with cool. me. We were there. That was cool. Boy, the rock pile was green, and was uh, it? Yeah, and it was kind of green. Yeah, but but you know, I really like your boat. And with that sea keeper in it, oh my yeah. goodness, it wasn't even fair. Breeze we were still up. stable. Yeah, it was kind of rough it's, for a little skip. Pretty, yeah, it, 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 later on, the morning was beautiful, and then oh, all yeah. of a sudden that wind popped up. But anyway, we left the rock pile there, kind of hung out because the, the day before, uh, Ryan said he did pretty well there, starting at like ten, ten thirty. Waited it out, didn't happen. Went up to the South Cup Ridge. Then we finally, at, we, we were kind of hanging our heads low there, but we had a fun day. Finally went up to the middle grounds and found some fish and we ended up with five so that yeah, was that's cool. not bad yeah we had we ended up with a good no, day. but, the, but okay. it all happened between two and four in the so, afternoon. and the yellows have been good size oh, beautiful no, size. they were yeah beautiful great 15 <laughs> to 20 pounders dude are yeah. you kidding me yeah so we, we did the slow troll thing that was good we did the drifts that yep. was good but i got a question for everybody now think about this whenever you catch a surface iron fish shouldn't it count for more like quadruple I don't know, but I don't know. More I, than I caught I, I caught some great, you know, they're really fun. The bite's always a little different. You know how they kind of tug on it, and then sometimes they take it. But I saw Pete's all- face. He cast it out right under some little picking birds, and I'm going, oh, he's gonna, oh, he, he's, uh, yep, he's on. Oh. Oh. And just the the sound he made. Yeah. <laughs> now that fish needs to count for more. So I did we really you. get just five? Or was it oh, six? Well, I don't Does know. it count? Anyway, I got to drive the boat. More Somebody's point. got to drive the boat. Oh, no, right? that was the best. Yeah. Watching you catch um, that fish. Anyway, uh, I will throw out big kudos to. Uh, Brandon and Matt, and uh, their two fish jigs. Yes. Those things swim well. Do they? Oh, they, my. Yeah. Well, I like the little sidestep they do. Yeah. You know, wonk, wonk, yeah. wonk, wonk, sidestep. Yeah. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Yeah. yeah. I watched it come in a few times. Yeah. That's, a nice, they, that's, that's a nice jig. They swim quite You're well. You're talking sexy to me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, talking to Tommy P, he went to uh, Clemente with Benny Florentino. Yes. Uh, with Wayne for his birthday, and they were killing it on the slug, he said. He said so me. speaking of slugs send me some pictures yeah and and actually so it's not like the traditional calico like you i mean it's not the eight inch and that kind of thing but it's the seven inch the smaller version i talk about with surf with surf fishing and and it's just it's the seven aught kamikatsu with the five inch weedless or the seven inch slug it fits both i fish them from el salto i have fished them at martha's vineyard striper (laughs) really all the way to calico bass and halibut in the surf like well, it's, when, it's a money when doesn't Benny Florentino catch fish? I know. Yeah. And when so doesn't good. Corey and, and, catch and, and fish? And Wednesday it was flat, so they had a beautiful time out there in Clemente. Benny's hey, the it's best. time to head south. Our Baja report from uh, Chris from Smokey's Curing Company and Cantina. And it's sponsored by Gamakatsu, not just all about hooks. There's so much more, including the new Gamakatsu filet eyes, which are totally amazing. Once you try one, you'll always want more. The new tools are also special, too, including the Gamakatsu braid scissors super great scissors made with ceramic blades so they never rust see your local dealer or check gamakatsu.com good morning chris buenos dias pedro Corey, will how's everybody doing today 
Move Fantastic. Around. How are you? I'm doing just fine, man. It's another beautiful day down here in East Cape. It's uh, shaping up. I can tell it's already going to be a great day of fishing. We've had another great week. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but the yellowfin tuna bite has just been going off. We had really just one slow day the whole week on Thursday, but it picked right back up yesterday. And um, really some really nice sides coming in. We're not seeing the 180, 150 pounders this past week, but plenty of 50s and 60s. And uh, about the closest they came in this past week was maybe about 15, 17 miles. They're back out at about 40 over the last couple of days, which, hey, man, you got to take a little ride to get out there, but um, you got to go where the fish are. So basically, you just head out straight out in the morning, go find the porpoise, you know, and uh, and start catching tuna. And then um, also there's uh, just, I mean, blue marlin galore uh, and uh, striped marlin, too. So, uh, you know, not really much else going on besides those two, but still just a uh, real productive week and um uh you know people are having a great time out on the water i'm actually going to try to get out on vaquera tomorrow so i'm looking forward to that yeah for sure it sounds good but at least there's stuff to catch and uh sounds like fun to me I'm, I'm oh yeah 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 there's nothing to complain about down here that's for sure Yellowfin and smoked yellowfin, man. That sounds Ooh. so delicious right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got, got a smoke we've got it. a smoked oh. yellowfin uh, smoked yellowfin uh, sandwich on the board there too. It's Smokies. It's real real popular. Oh, oh yeah, the cerveza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cold cervezas. Oh. Yeah, for sure, guys. Yeah, it's uh, you know this time of year. I'll tell you, you know, it's it, the town's a little slow. Just you know, this is the time of year where it kind of there's not as many people fishing, but those that are are, are 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 bringing in the fish so it's it's good and it's going to pick up real it's going to pick up a lot the uh after the second week of september so wow. in terms of numbers in terms of uh, charters going out oh, so sure. and of course we have our palmas de cortez fall spectacular we're going to be fishing on vaquero with you chris and looking forward to that group and uh i i think there might be a spot or two left on that if you want to call van warmer resorts and get in with us on that october the rich top the 30th annual believe it or not rich top memorial tournament so wow. that's going to be oh man i can't wait to see you guys and uh yeah rich what a guy what, what a guy the best none, none yep. better than rich top for sure we yep. miss him a lot hey chris somebody wants to come fishing with you or come over uh get some smoked fish get your fish process how do we find you uh, you can find us at vaquerabaja.com, or I'm sorry, vaquerasportfishing.com, and you can also email me at Baja Smoke Dog with two Gs at Gmail, and we'll take care of all your needs. Great, Chris. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next Saturday. Okay, guys. Hasta. Hasta la vista. All right. He's, he's been such a great addition. He's such a great addition. I, man, yeah, Chris is awesome. It re, it re, yeah, there's a resemblance of not really John Ireland, but uh, yeah. just I want to be there. He you know? brings that Baja feel to the show. Yes, yeah, please. We miss John for yeah, sure. I know, but, I know. Uh, yeah. Um, phones are packing up. You want to get through 213-432-1090. Let's jump into the phones. Let's do it. Let's take first line right there. Who's uh, Dana? Dana call from Ocean Beach. Good morning, Dana. Hey guys, how's it going? Good to talk to you. Great. Great. Hey, I just wanted to uh, let everybody... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for stepping on you, Pete. Just wanted to uh, let everybody know that uh, the Hobie saga continues in my life. I think I've had every boat that Ron ever sold. My favorite is the Lynx by far, and I've been preaching that gospel at La Jolla to anyone I see. But um, there was also another thing that came up. Uh, I walked in there. I told Ron about six months ago, man, my legs keep falling asleep when I'm going. It's usually between the eighth and tenth mile. So it's pretty good. And he recommended <laughs> this squishy seat. The squishy seat, which is a memory foam Hobie seat that uh, is waterproof. And I was really skeptical. I think I came in the store three times before I bought it. And I can tell you, it's a lifesaver. So what is that? Is that a, a, a cushion that you put on the, the current seat, or is it a different seat? No, no, it's a cushion. It's a it's cushion a that pad. goes on the current seat. It's a pad, but I don't ever take it off. I just strapped it on there. I wash off the boat. I store it. It's perfect. Oh, everybody, like uses, a everybody uses them, raves about them. Yeah, sounds like a must. I'm Anti-fatigue, Matt. 
<laughs> well, no, it's squishy butt. Yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Anti fatigue. Yeah. So, t- tell us, Dana, what do you like about the links over uh, the other? I know I've seen you on inflatables. I've seen you on Outbacks, uh, Pro Anglers. What do you like about the links that makes it your favorite boat? I like uh, what I like about it is that I can put it on top of my car without you know hurting myself. I never hurt myself, but, but you know you get a little older. You get done fishing, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours. Lugging the pro angler up on the top of my car because I don't have a, uh, I don't have a uh, trailer or anything like that. Was just a little bit old. But the links is fast. I can be thinking about fishing, and in the water from my house in thirty-five minutes. Jeez, wow. and yeah, perfect. Well, the first, no, the first time he, he picked up his links, he picked up his links, went straight to La Jolla Shores and caught a huge yellowtail. Talk about that, Dana. Yep. It was funny because I took it out. I was, you know, you're on a shakedown cruise, so you're not really sure what it does yet. First time I was ever on the water on it. Went out and uh, went straight out uh, at La Jolla and. Uh, uh, was messing with my fish finder, trying to get everything, and uh, and anybody who kayak fishes knows that you're going to get in tangles. I I dropped down to get some bait, and I got in one of the worst tangles I've ever had in Spectra. I spent the next 15 minutes, actually 12 minutes, fixing that Spectra. I got that lined up. I looked down. I had floated north, and I saw a big mark about halfway up at about 150 feet. I threw a cold sniper at it twice and hooked up on a fish. And it was a wow. great 35-pound yellow. Yeah, and I was back on the pound yellow. <laughs> so back what do you on do? the beach 40 minutes after I launched. <laughs> 45 minutes with a 35-pound yellow. <laughs> so a 12 well, on, delay. <laughs> on, on a lynx, on a lynx where, what do you do with the fish? Just put it on the deck? You just put it on the deck, hopefully center it if you can, because um, it's, um, it's surprisingly stable. But, yeah, I mean, if you're coming in on a wave, you don't want to ever catch a wave. But it does change the, it changes the balance points. You just got to deal with it. But uh, that's a good problem to have. I it's like a, that problem. Yeah, a good right, problem. Hey, uh, Dana, were you using a game clip to keep that thing connected to the boat, the, the, the yellowtail? I catch the yellow tail or anything I really, really want to keep and don't lose is you catch it, you put the clip on, and then you bleed it, and then you take the hook out, and then you put it in the in the um, in the nice uh, bag, you know, the kill bag that Sounds fits cool. on top of the links. That's a veteran. Oh, right really? There. Okay. So the, the 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 kill that was one of the points I want to make. They make a kayak kill bag, and and that fits on the links. It fits. It hangs over a little bit, but it's just fine. Um, it's, yeah. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but they're not going to make a special one for the links. But it works great, um, and it's amazing. It's a reliable bag, so it's uh, it's everything a reliable bag is. Good. Yeah, it's, it works good. So Ten hours cool. ice still. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks, Dana Nice. Uh, there's a, a personal testimonial from a guy that knows these fishes. Oh, no, it was, it was so hardcore. funny. I knew Dana would love this boat because he was making those noises that the pro angler was a little big. He was moving to a smaller beach house in OB. And I go, here, give me $100. You get the first one. <laughs> and he didn't even know what he was buying. He gave me a deposit. And I called him. They were ready. And uh, he was down there the first day just panting, you know. Yeah. He's <laughs> it ready. It's great. You're talking That's about awesome. Chris Minnick? Yeah. No. Oh. Chris <laughs> bought two. Yeah, that, that one too. No, Chris bought two. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, Danny. I appreciate the call this morning. Uh, you know, a couple things I want to note. Um, the Shogun Six Day that Ron Lane will be hosting. Oh, that's Ron Lane. Yeah, Man, I can't uh, wait. Um, October twenty first to the twenty seventh. You talk about prime time, mm-hmm. and probably run down and get that yellowfin that's been biting so well, Ooh. and just absolutely annihilate that stuff. Uh, there's spots open. There's never spots open on that trip. What's the deal? But that... there's spots open. So if you want to go fishing with Ron on a six day on the Let's Talk Hook Up Shogun, uh, call Opresti Sport Fishing. Uh, and uh, 226 8030, or just book online, shogunsportfishing.com, and book that trip October 21st to the 27th. And a uh, rare opportunity to get on a six day on the, on one of the best boats there is. Oh, in. that's a fun. That's yeah. so fun. I, yeah. so, I, I went one time, was so addicted. Just fishing with you, Ron, is fun. Well, yeah. I mean, period. Well, bless Kook. 
You know? <laughs> yeah. I get to go fishing with all these really great guys, and that that helps. I oh, mean, oh my gosh, Chris Minnick gives me a how-to, and I go out and go tr- do exactly what he says. That, that's oh. that, and that's how you catch fish. And that's what I call good times. And you know that crew really is. That's an amazing group of guys. They really help. Oh yeah. I I mean, even the guys that weren't so skilled were catching fish. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, Which hold, hold that thought. Fish of a lifetime. Because we're going to be right back on the Let's Talk a Kebab and the Sports Grid Radio Network. Wait, a 40-pound white sea bass off an inflatable Hobie kayak? Tell me about that. I'm Logan from Fastlane Kayaks on Mission Bay, and the whole story began when Ron Lane let my parents some Hobie Mirage iTrex to put on their boat and take out to Catalina Island. That's when I borrowed the iTrek 11, threw it in my car, and drove down to Baja for a fishing and camping trip. Ended up landing a bucket list 40-pound white sea bass on the inflatable. Dang, that sounds even better than our mammoth trip. And we packed up the kayaks in the car, snowboarded all morning, then drove down to the lakes, launched the iTrex, and fished for trout all afternoon. Honestly, the iTrex inflatables are the ultimate fishing platform. From trout in the Sierras, calicos at Catalina, and white sea bass in the Sea of Cortez, they can do it all. And we've documented all these trips. So check out Fastlane Kayaks on Instagram to see more. And if you think you want a kayak, but you're on the fence, come down to our shop or right on Mission Bay, and we would be happy to throw one in the water and let you give it a try. So call Fastlane Kayaks to schedule a demo today. Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena is the place to fill up your car, truck, and boat with the lowest gas and diesel prices. Did you know Summit is also the place to get the lowest prices on gourmet ice and snacks for your trip? $3.99 for 25 pounds of ice, as many as you want. That's half the price of others. Plus, you get 100 pounds of ice free with a 30-gallon fill. Kirkland products at lower prices than the store that makes them, plus dozens of great snacks for just 89 cents. They can now accommodate 24 cars and trucks to fuel at the same time, plus 12 diesel pumps, easy in and outs too. Step into the Summit Bistro and enjoy what Martha and her crew have for you. Fresh made burritos, sandwiches, and salad, along with beer, beverages, and of course, always free ice. Summit gasoline low prices, friendly staff, free ice and easy in and out with your boat and trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. The quality of the captains and crew, as well as the great meals and service, speak for themselves. Comfortable staterooms, a super clean and well taken care of boat, are just a few of the reasons the Islander is so popular. The Islander specializes in one and a half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islandersportfishing.com. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check seaforthlanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Captain Jamie Tennis from Season Sport Fishing here. For the past few seasons, a dart-styled metal jig has come into play in a big way for tuna offshore or even rockfish down deep. AFCO's crossbreed jig has quickly become the go-to for many since it came onto the market. AFCO's crossbreed jig is good to go right out of the package with a 4X treble hook, heavy-duty split rings, West Coast colors, and sizes 60 gram to 120 gram. Pick one up today at your local tackle store or learn more on AFCO.com. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. We're having so much fun in studio and having a great time. And let's see here. We've got one open line. If you want it right now, it's at 213-432-1090, or you can text us via the app. Giving away, uh, you can step right into Fast Lane Kayak and, and have a $100 shopping spree on uh on Jared's Salty Crew gear there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. For both a texter and a caller today. That's right. Yeah. And I wore my American flag Salty Crew shirt today. You've look. got Salty Crew uh, stuff on. I wish, got I, wish I had stuff. mine on. Yeah. Yeah, I it's do all too. good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, I have a great text here. Hi, Ron. I have a 2018 Outback and want to explore putting Fish Finder on it. Do you have any recommendations for a solid startup setup that would work great for the bay and open ocean fishing in La Jolla? That's from Juan and Temecula. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We've been doing both. Well, the Lawrence is the one we've been favoring. 
and that the one with the little side scan, the hook reveal, and then they also have some other ones that are just dialed in. The thing to do though is come in and explain to Callan or me. Uh, what, what kind of fishing do you really want to do? You know, is it rock fishing? Are you looking for structure? Or are you, you know, just looking for bait and, you know, yellowtail? Or if you're just lake fishing or bait fishing, it, it'll make a difference on which finder to do. And it's amazing to me how inexpensive fish finders are and how much they do. It blows my mind. It's hard for me to go out and even go spotty fishing without a finder anymore. I just, I catch myself looking at it and going, wait, there's no fish down there. Keep moving. <laughs> so when, you, when, you, when you hunt and you see them, then fish. You know, how do I, I got to learn that lesson over and over. I'll just be sitting there casting mindlessly. And, you know, you have a little success here and there. But sure. if you have a finder, you're going along and you see marks, you see bait, you see a, a bump on the bottom. Hey, stop there. So... I I'm hooked on on finders. Yeah, and, they're, and they like work. I said, they're, they're a couple hundred bucks. That's how the inexpensive and, they and are. And really, I, I mean, for the kayak, just knowing what depth you're in, knowing whether you're over and a hard bottom or water kelp, temperature, water temp. Yeah, right. It we might had, be two degrees warmer over here than over cu- there. A couple weeks ago, I was fishing in the bay, and when I went, fi- it started. It was 72 degrees, and then all of a sudden, it had dropped five degrees. Oh. That big. Tide swing had come in and, and was flooded in colder water. So we just pedaled to where it got warm again, and there we were hooking up. We're so fortunate, or actually, you're more fortunate. But having Mission Bay just right out your back door, oh, and it's such a, a beautiful fishery, and it's a blast. So many halibut come in there, and the spotties are loaded in there. And I was just I was fishing with the grandkids yeah. on the inflatable Fiesta. Yeah, that's the four way one, and so yeah. we have the you know both. Fisher and, and Finley on the boat with Jared, and we're out fishing. And No, it was with Hayden, and we caught a halibut, a good-sized one. Yeah. And so I asked the guys, what do we do with this? And they said, we let him go. <laughs> <laughs> we have it on video. It's on our on, so our, cool. on our Instagram. It, it It's pretty fun fishing with yeah. your grandkids. You, you have a wonderful family all the way around. Right? That's cool. Well, hey, phones are packing up. 213-432-1090. Let's jump into it, Corey. Let's do it. How about Mike? Mike calling from uh, Rosemead. Good morning. Appreciate you joining us Hi, this Mike. morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for picking up my line. Um, i got a problem here. I have a cup of coffee in the morning. I turn on the local news, and then I turn on Let's Talk Hookup, and um, sometimes I call in like I'm doing right now. And um, now you have this video or live live stream on. How am I supposed to do five things at once? Thanks a lot, Pete, for making my morning busy. That's the best start of a call yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah, that's funny. Well, you know, it's a dilemma. Choices. <laughs> yeah. Life's all about choices. And, well, I and, guess and, I, and, yeah. yeah, and I'll, I'll say this. If you miss any of the video, it's it's you can access it 724 at our YouTube channel. Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show. It's it's on there. If you just click on the live tab on wow. YouTube, and it's there. Uh, it's there 724 once we finish the guy. And, of course, on our app, it's also there, um, too, so you can hear well, it. Well, the link there. to the – or yeah, you can listen to it through there, the yeah. app, but you yeah. can link the social media right, sites right. from – And then the audio yeah. is always on the app that you can download and drive in your car with, too. So. Such a foreign yeah. language to me. Yeah, we're – How do you remember all that believe, stuff? Believe me, Corey. I'm learning, right? <laughs> Adding the second camera has really thrown me a loop this morning. So, <laughs> but Ricky's listening and uh, noted a few things on the on the second camera that I'm making some adjustments on. So we're working on it. Hi, wow. Ricky. Ricky's t- <laughs> by the way, Ricky's taking care of the kids today. That's why he couldn't make. Oh, so, good morning, uh, Rick. They lost their uh, as well their babysitter flew to Hawaii, so oh. they, uh, so he had to stay home. And flew the coop, do, do, but he'll be back tomorrow. But thanks, Corey, for for you for stepping. Oh, in stoked. You can yeah, anytime for sure. Mike, thanks a lot for the call appreciate that very much did you have a question is he still there no i think he just wanted to voice his dilemma okay a dilemma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah hey do you have a great text Corey? i do let, let me pull it up here hang on just a second here this is uh yes morning guys great show my question is for ron i'm an avid free diver and was wondering if hobie makes a kayak that has a great platform for free diving and spear fishing and uh, it comes from Dan. He says, thanks, Dan from Spring Valley. Pretty much any of the kayaks, you know, 
guys, you know, dive off all the time. Yeah. Especially now, a pro angler, because you can put a lot of gear on it. Yeah. The pro angler's harder to get into, though. Oh, when that's coming true. back up. I, I like Maybe the, the Lynx. The Lynx would be awesome. Now... Any t- I mean, if you're free diving, you don't have the tanks involved. So, right, yeah, I right, think right. any of them will work great. Yeah. The, but the, but a good point, easier to get into. There's none easier to get into than the Lynx, though. The Lynx would be the easiest. The Outback's still very good because you yeah, have a handle yeah. right across. Oh. And when you slide back in, you're not lifting your legs up. You're just... You reach across, you pull your belly up first, and then you roll over on your butt, then you bring your feet in. Yeah. Belly, butt, feet. And yeah. it keeps the center of gravity yeah. kind of kind of in the middle. What what kayak was I in when we were outback? The outback. You spent Super twelve stable. hours in an outback. Seriously, like without an issue. <laughs> They're so stable. <laughs> yes, yeah, very stable. I mean that that's why I'm mentioning the outback because that for getting in as a free diver would totally like. No, that's slick. Yeah, yeah no, that's a th- that that outback's tough to beat. I mean, I've been selling those things for probably twenty five years now. And they've been they've gone through many model changes, lots and lots of model changes. But the new configuration is one of my favorites. You know, wider back end for a lot of tackle management, a lot of storage, and then the sharp bow like the old Revolution had to make it fast. So you got the best of both worlds. And and having the stealth and the silent, like yeah, it's getting quiet. in on sea bass. And, oh, that's oh a, that's such a hot tip, you know? right? Especially you're fishing around, you know, structure in lakes. You want to be stealthy. I mean, those guys put pads all over so that even the pliers don't make noise when they drop on the boats. It's, you know... How whatever you're fishing, kayaks can do it really well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, some great texts coming through, some great calls. Uh, we do have a line open. You want to get a chance to win one of those two Salty Crew uh, shopping sprees at Fast Lane Kayaks, hundred dollar shopping spree, uh, and two one three four three two ten nine. You have a great chance to get through right now. Uh, Chris is standing by waiting for your calls. And Daryl writes, Ron, back in the day, there was a lady named Katie that sold kayaks from an old tackle shop on Dana. Oh, yeah. She had a guy there had paddled the kayak to Hawaii with, with that was her support husband. boat. Could you elaborate on that, on the history of that? But it is, well, I know. I, I knew Katie real well, and, and Ed Gillette is the guy's name. And, uh, you know, it, I, I read... Paddle a kayak to Hawaii? Yeah. Come Isn't on. Crazy? And he was late. He was late longer than the trip was supposed to take. Oh. Yeah, they thought he was good. gone. Yeah. Yeah, but he had a support boat. I thought no, 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 unassisted. Now check this out. I I was there was some sporting article I read, and it said um, ten of the sporting uh, sporting things that went wrong, and he was one of them. And I knew two other guys. (laughs) I'm going right. Three out of ten. I know these people. (laughs) <laughs> the sporting events that went way wrong. Anyway, oh Jared, look at this. Hey, we got Jared calling. Yeah, oh boy, calling. Yeah, he's, he's like he, in he, big trouble. You're in big trouble, right? Man. I think yeah, I yeah. think we've already overstepped the yeah, boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Here, you guys cover for me. I'm gonna, good job. Yeah. Good job. We're gonna job. find out what's going good on. Good job. But anyway, yeah, the good story there for sure. And uh, there's lots of lots of good stuff. Oh, hey, live radio, live yeah. calls. Like, yeah, like, this is like, Ron is the first guy to ever answer the telephone during a let's. Why not? It's Jared. Yeah, Jared, yeah it's on. Jared, right? <laughs> He's answering the phone. Oh, <laughs> anyway, he, he, and you can see it right here, right? On YouTube and Facebook Live. Oh, He's no, on the phone. Don't get yeah, away from it. For now. sure. Um, oh. I want to thank, you know, while, while Ron's talking and, yeah. and, and such, I, I want to bring our attention to the, the new mounted screen North in Olympia. the back. Yeah. And all our sponsors rot- uh, rotating on, on the screen. We want to thank. Okay. These are the guys Seahorse. that really Seahorse. get. Uh, these are the guys that really help keep. Uh, Let's talk hookup yeah, rolling here. Book, yeah. So, uh, this, in a big this way. is it. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Very good, Jeff. And Thank so, you. Um, please support them, and that's why they rotate there. And are you finally done with your phone call? Did you mind? <laughs> so, 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 you are the first in 33 years, Ron, which, are, by the way, our 33rd anniversary is next weekend. Wow. 33 years on the air. Wow. Uh, you are the first person to answer a phone. In 33 years, so that's live, sort of breaking live rules, on it? the air. Is that breaking live rules? I, you know, well, there are no rules. But it was here. Jared. There it's are no good. rules. Well, Jared said we can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so hey, yeah, that'll be a total tease. Yeah. When we come back on, let's talk up. 
Yeah. Not only are we going to have fish reports and taking your calls. Hang on there. It's, yeah. going, it's going dark. Taking your calls. We're going to be taking your texts. We're going to return on a Let's Talk a Kebab in a Sports Grid Network. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Capresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there, too. Delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. If it was possible to improve near perfection in a lever drag saltwater reel, Shimano is the company that can do it. Introducing the all-new Talica 12A and 16A two-speed lever drag reel. These new Talica reels raise the bar of Shimano's flagship reel again with ultra-smooth reeling and powerful drag performance to conquer long battles with trophy game fish. The addition of Shimano's innovative Infinity Drive technology leverages a new drag design to increase drag force and produce up to 30% lighter rotation during tough battles. The new generation of Talica now features X-Protect technology to boast high-level water resistance in vital areas. These new Shimano reels feature a Hagani body made of highly rigid aluminum to reduce the reel's overall weight. The palming side plate is an additional 6% smaller than the previous generation. Push the limit. Shimano's all-new Talica 12A and 16A reel. Available at your local Shimano dealer. Season long range fishermen know that the Red Rooster 3 is the finest fishing vessels in terms of technology, design, speed, comfort, and safety. This 105 foot sport fishing yacht meets every demand for comfort while delivering an unforgettable fishing vacation. Captain Andy Kate and crew are experienced, friendly, and sincere in their desire to help you have the trip of a lifetime. Book a trip on the Red Rooster 3 and you'll be back. Trips go fast. So check redrooster3.com or call Lee Palm Sport Fisheries at 619 224 3857. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find a location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane, along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catine, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have Fishdope.com, you're not part of the in the know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. 